Okay, 17. Yeah, left is very different from the, the right. So here's the right. And then we've got nevus cells, right? Going way deep down. Yeah, and then we've got nice neuritization, right? Wagner, Meissner like bodies, tactoid bodies, Masson bodies, whatever you want to call them. And then all the way down into the into the fat. So probably a true congenital nevus present since birth, and probably a very large one, right? Given that we've got a big, big chunk of it here, and yet clearly it's broadly transected. And then what's going on over here, Kayla? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We've got really atypical melanocytes with pagetoid spread, confluence, consumption of the epidermis, lots of pagetoid. And they're much more atypical down here too compared to the background. There would be mitoses, I'm sure, in here. I didn't look carefully for a long time, but in a melanoma this large and deep. So this is a, a large invasive melanoma arising in a large congenital nevus, which we know uh, people with large congenital nevi have a a significant risk of developing melanoma. I mean, it is a minority of patients, but it's a very real risk of developing melanomas. And the melanomas um, in large congenital nevi uh, often develop in when the patients are young still, which is um, problematic. And sometimes they can develop down deep in the lesion as like a nodule. Uh, the one thing I would caution you is that uh, all to know is that here we're helped by the fact that we've got obvious melanoma in the epidermis. But sometimes when you, you can get a big cellular and mitotically active nodular area in a, in a large congenital nevus, and those, that, that can be benign and it's called a proliferative nodule, I still find those very scary and I am not comfortable with them. And the rare times I've encountered them in practice, I've sent them out to melanocytic experts because I, I, I know there's a lot of stuff published about it, but it's uh, quite nuanced in my opinion. So I, I think they're quite scary. And I know a fair number of other dermatopathologists I've talked to feel the same. So I I really, and they're usually big, deep, and in kids, uh, that's stuff that I want to make sure an expert has seen. But here, I think there's no doubt this is melanoma. I don't know how old the patient was or the history here, but this is melanoma arising in a large, probably a giant congenital nevus. I don't know if it was like bathing trunk or not, but it's clearly a very large one. Very unfortunate. 